Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're taking a look at a collection of Mythic Battles. This is one of four for this particular client. And let's go ahead and make a spot and zoom in on some specific figures. Oh, I'm so excited. This is good. I've actually bought one of these for my D&D game. Uh, and I, in fact, I'm going to show you that one first. So here's a regular man-sized guy. That's like a hero. And there's a skeleton. These are 25 millimeter bases. And by the way, just picking up this Kickstarter secondhand on eBay would be a fantastic investment for role-playing figures. And of course, have blue table painting. Paint them up. And all right, let's, let's zip them on through. So this is uh, what I picked up for a cloud giant. Could be a, it'd be, it'd be a great storm giant. Really, so there's that guy. So these are these are the gods. I think this is Apollo, and so you can see the size of them compared to the regular guys. I think he's on like a 50, 50 millimeter base. Let's get this camera up just a tad. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and cycle some things through. Here's this serpent guy. I'm just going to leave this skeleton on there. Skelly the scale skeleton. So. That's a cool fig. So you can buy them individually, the larger ones for like 10 to $20 on eBay. And then the smaller ones obviously for less expensively than that. Here's uh, Hermes. That, uh, that's, a that's a great fig. Loving this one, check this out. I'm not sure who that's supposed to be, but uh, in fact, let's zoom, let's zoom in on her. Yeah, very uh, traditional paint job done on this one. I mean, really, really a good job. It, it makes me happy. And, uh, so, and a lot of the little ones are really cool looking too. This gal, the bull, an oracle of some kind. Uh, one of my favorites from this set are these dogs. And these are on uh, 40 millimeter bases. So they are, as you can see, they are pretty huge and cool looking. Oh man. So much awesome. It makes me so happy. So yeah, a lot of these Kickstarters are really absolutely fantastic. I love this feathered serpent type creature. Uh, that And that fact, that may be a, que a Quetzalcoatl thing, however you say that. Whoever this guy is, right? He's got like a whip or something. So the thing is, giants are vastly underrepresented in miniatures line. Like a miniatures line will have like, oh, here's a fire giant. Yeah, but if you're running an adventure with fire giants in it, you can't just have one figure. You gotta have a lot, you get a lot of different figures. Frontline grunts, you know, uh, leaders, uh, shamans, that, that kind of thing. And quite frankly, I think if you were to make all these god figures themed, you could have quite a nice crew of cloud or storm giants on your hand. So let me just cycle some of them through. Oh, this makes me happy. Check that gal out. The two guys with the bows, this is what I'm gonna get for my for my D&D game. And boy, if you get hit with those bows, it's gonna be like a ballista just hit you in the chest. It's gonna be fantastic. Mm, thank goodness for the hit points system. Yeah, hit points are cinematic. That's the deal with hit points. Some people are like, well, how could you fall 200 feet and still live just because you're 10th level? Well, guess what? Because it's heroic that that happens, you know, somehow. So there's that gal, pretty awesome. And um, I think this is, this is almost like an Eastern Indian type of figure. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Can I get it to focus right? Apparently I cannot. Well, there you go. Let's back it up a little bit. There you go, there she is. All right, and uh, definitely going to get this rock creature here. Um, there you go. Awesome, what's kind of lacking in this game is the uh, terrain. All you get, as far as I know, are like those columns back there. And I don't know if that's gonna make for a great battlefield. So anyway, uh, just gonna show you like one more thing. And that is um, this griffin. This is something I'm definitely buying for my D&D game. Griffins are a great thing to have on hand. And I like that the artist uh, put some color on it, you know. 
of course that she was probably just following like box art or something like that. Well guys, uh, that is uh, all I gotta say about that. And uh, thanks for tuning in, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, right now, as of making this video, uh, BTP is at 35 active projects. Right around uh, 25 of those are being actively worked on somehow. And so we're looking really good. But 40, 40 to 45 is really a better number. So I am ready to take on some new projects. Even, even larger things. I mean, if you are feeling inspired and you want to just get armies done even I, I can even scale up to very large projects you know like a thousand figures five thousand figures we can definitely do that well thanks for tuning in and i hope you got your inspiration for the day